Yo, Vaisant here. So in this video, we'll go over combos and how to use Claw Blade. Um, I've been using Claw Blade as my main weapon. I did use Hammer until I unlocked this. And I couldn't record this earlier because the FPS dropped with the patch. You didn't know I'm finally on 1.03. Now I can have actually have OPS and this game open while FPS drops. Um, or at least not the big ones. So we have the basic movements, right? We got the roll. We got the run, which puts you away your weapon. And then we got the basic combos, right? Which is the attack one button, which is the X. I am using Xbox controller, by the way. Is that the A hit combo, right? And then if you press the Y, it does the backslash. That's without any direction. If you put it a directional input with this, um, you do a roll and slash, right? Obviously, if you press the roll, and, if you do the roll and slash, and you press Y again. Um, it does the back jump. I usually like to do it while I'm doing this and I press back just to make sure. Um, but yeah, usually if you just press the Y button again or the X2 button, I mean attack 2 button, you do you can do a roll and then do a back attack. Because it's, it's kind of hard to land it sometimes. So, um, like you, you roll over the monster, like oh shoot, and then you can attack, you jump back and attack it. So you can actually mix and match this um, like that. And then you can go into the X combos. Or you can do the X combos and do a Y back dash, right? You can, you can use this for placement, but I feel like building the combo bar on. Oh, let me just get rid of this claw. That's an R. This is the R2 button. You can put the claw. It attaches to the monster, right? It slowly goes down over time, and if you do like specific movements, like your roll, uh, you can roll on the ground. But if you're in the air and you do press B, you do this Attack on Titan thing, right? With the 3D maneuver, it does take more stamina though. But anyways, um, so that's for the ground attacks. Uh, I'll go over the, we'll go back to the hook stuff later. I want to go over my aerial combos. So in the air, there's the basic uh, horizontal slash. I think it's like seven hits or something. And then you can also press the attack two button. So this is the X button. This is the the Y button is that. So at the end of the combo, you can actually even do the Y button. <laughs> And it, this this attack actually does the drill attack and hit multiple times, and that, that that builds up the bar pretty quick compared to this. Like that's a lot quicker, right? That was like three hits, but then if you do drill, it's like multiple hits, and I feel like it does slightly more damage. Sixty, yeah, it does slightly more damage. So, or I guess there's more damage in general. So I feel like that's a lot better. So you can actually combo this in the air. I would do my horizontal slashes into a Y. And that builds up the bar hella quick. Cause then you can jump cancel this and then just go back into 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 you can just keep doing this. Right? You can totally just jump cancel into it. So it's a lot quicker, in my opinion. And then you can also do this crab crab thing in the air, like claw. It actually launches you forward a little bit, so if you like need to reach somewhere, right? And you're like, oh shit, I'm too far, you can just keep spamming that button. <laughs> You can slowly launch you forward. It's like using a side B in Smash Bros. If you guys get that concept. Oh yeah, so you can also during this you can actually jump cancel this. So in the air you can like jump cancel and jump off, right? You can do it in between like the attacks. You can do this and then you can jump cancel. Same thing with the with the hook, right? When you buy the hook, you can jump cancel it, make it quick, you know. In case you miss <laughs> I think you only get one jump though, right? Yeah, you can. But you can keep canceling. You can, can you can just attack with this and just claw and then jump away and claw and then attack again. Claw again. <laughs> just stay up in the air. There's some basic things you can do. Anyways, um you can lock you can once you latch on yourself, right? You can do the B, you can dash, you can also jump, right? And then just keep this. You can stall for a bit if the monster decides to do any some big move. And if you press the R2 button again, you actually dash into them. And attack actually changes. If you press the, the dash button, you can actually do that on the ground too. And then if you press the uh, X button, you do a dashing into uh, a, a jump back slash. And then if you do, if you press the attack 2 button, it does a slashing thing. One thing I like to do is though, if you didn't know, you can actually attack cancel by doing this. Right before you jump back, you press the Y2 button. And obviously, if you do, I believe, like three times or something, 
um, three three kind of dash attacks. Um, it will end up with even if your bar is like halfway left that you don't want to lose it. I don't know. It automatically just jumps down to a slash, does big damage, right? So it's nice to do it, and then you just build up again. Another quick way to actually put up a hook, though, you can just use the Kakuri box, right? You just jump and then press the attack 2 button, I mean attack 1 button, the X button, right? But you give yourself enough distance, though, right? And then, boom! Oh, I missed. <laughs> I usually like to give myself enough distance. Because it does launch it forward just enough. And it actually give you a decent chunk. The higher you go, the more stamina you got, right? So I press attack two. Instead of right before jumping back though, while you're doing the dash, I just spam the Y button. Once I spam the Y button, um, you do like, so you like drilling multiple times and you, so you drill vertically and then you drill horizontally. Here, let me, uh, I usually like put up the wall so you can go higher. And you do a lot of damage. Look at that, I got more of the bar, right? And then you dash forward. You press this and then you press Y, oh, if it's a longer monster, it actually hits way more times, right? That's like three, boom, 800, right? I think the more times you attack it, the more damage it does. Either that or the more the bar, if more of the bar hook is on there, then it actually does more. Um, so that's most of the combos I usually use. It's pretty simple, right? Not that many complicated movements. Um, uh, I, I guess there's more you could combine with Kakuri, right? If you do this, you actually end up doing the horizontal slash if you press the X button. I believe if you press the Y button. I actually never tried with the Y button. Let me see. It does the same thing. <laughs> so you want to distance yourself with that. Um, but yeah, those are the mostly the combos I've seen, so I just spam this most of the times because I can just jump cancel, right? And then if you get in the box, I believe if you press any of the attack buttons, it does the same thing. And also it depends on how much uh, blue bar you have. I missed. I missed spamming the, the Y button. That's how you get big damage super quick. And just be careful going in and out. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that quick video of combo. Let me know if I missed anything. Um, so, because then I've been just playing around with stuff. And now I was like, oh, this I, I can actually attack cancel and jump cancel things. Who knows, right? I didn't know that. Later days.